Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of March 27th. We're just going to jump right in here, Pisces, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you. In your current general energies for the week, you have this card that says, spend more time on your spiritual growth. And you also have this helper card. It says, think before you offer help, set healthy boundaries. And, um, you know, really, I'm just going to stop it right there because... Um, you know, what I would say here, Pisces, is that <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure in your last reading, that I, or, or a very recent reading, I said that the only person you can save is yourself. You know, the only person you can help is yourself as well. And actually, the bottom of that card says, make sure your goals are yours and not someone else's, which I think is a very, very important for Pisces. You know, us Pisces, I'm a Pisces, I totally get it. You know, people always think I'm criticizing Pisces. I'm like, I'm criticizing myself here. If you don't know, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> um, but I think Pisces is guilty of sometimes like living other people's lives because, you know, we can be people pleasers. We can, you know... Um, just want to keep people happy. But I think that this reading here, Pisces, I mean, look at this reading. It is a very good reading, but it's really saying like you have to keep yourself happy. You have to figure out what the things that make you happy in life are. Uh, I'm going to pull this card here and I'm, I am also going to pull this card. Why not, Pisces? I wasn't sure what I was feeling, but um, that's what we're going to do. And um, so anyway, I feel like you have to make yourself happy here, Pisces. There are like things that you can do. Um, that could lead to more like joy and abundance, but I feel like it's time to help yourself. I'm also getting on this card right here. This might, it, it does say spiritual growth and it is kind of interesting because I, I, I do think you could be doing some things that, you know, maybe they have to do with like kind of, it's like maybe spiritual growth is a side effect is like what I'm trying to spit out here. Like maybe you're, you know, um, you have the eight of pentacles here. Sometimes I think the eight of pentacles is like a daily routine card and you have the magician and I do feel when we change our daily routine, that's when our life can change. When we do things differently, that's why I always preach this stuff. So I feel like some of, for some of you, it's like your spiritual growth could be coming through like a new practice that maybe isn't necessarily spiritual, but maybe it leads to, you know, kind of like more changes with spirit or you working better with spirit. It's like, you know, you could be walking and, you know, some, I find like personally, people always ask me all the time, do you meditate? And actually now I do, but uh, you know, I, I don't really usually meditate. I usually just go for a walk, which is my meditation time because I get out of my head. I don't really think when I'm walking. I'm just kind of like, you know, zoning out, right? Being a Pisces. So, you know, what I would say here is like there could be some sort of practice that could be very beneficial for you. And it looks like you need it because I feel like you're winning, Pisces. You have the chariot, the page of wands, and the star, the sun. I mean, the world, are you kidding? This is a very good reading. This chariot also makes sense with that card that says, make sure your goals are yours and not someone else's. Is. I really feel it's time for Pisces to be kind of like a little bit more selfish. I think it's time for Pisces to uh, make sure that you're helping yourself first and then you can help other people, right? Uh, you know, I think that it's like, I, I think that there is a toxic spiritual spirituality. <laughs> I think that there is such a thing where there are people who only think that we should only do things for other people, right? And, um, you know, it's like you could argue it either way, but at the same time, again, I think we are here to create our own reality. And I actually feel like focusing on the pro on problems for the most part is not a good idea. Again, we've been focusing on problems for like 200 years now, where it's like everything, you know, every, um, you know, it's like every protest, look at any protest, right? What are they? They're always against something. They're never for something like as in, and you could argue that some of them are for justice or whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. They're always like fighting against something. But instead, maybe if we all got together and, you know, did a, did a walk for people, Piece or something like that, you know, might just be a little bit better. And we should try it because, again, we've been banging our head against the wall doing the same thing. So I feel like this is saying that it's time for you to set yourself apart. You can see that he is leaving this city behind him behind. And he's doing this so that he can find his own place in the world. And, uh, you know, Pisces, I feel like it's time for you. Literally, that's what this reading is saying. You have the Knight of uh, Pentacles to the world card here. And so it's literally saying to me that, you know, it's time for you to get moving. Knight of Pentacles can represent no movement, um, but I feel like it is time for you to get moving towards like a goal, wish, dream, or something new in your life so that you can be more successful, so that you can, you know, have the achievements that you want to achieve. This is definitely going to be a journey. I mean, Chariot, Page of Wands are both cards of going on a journey, going on some sort of adventure. 
So I would get moving here. I feel like there could be just also like a lot of success coming in for you uh, with the page of wands. Um, for some reason I get like success, but again, I think the success comes through a change. Like literally in your third row, you have this card that says coffin and a card that says change on it. <laughs> so I feel that you need to like move in a new direction. You have the star and the star is a card of fulfillment. Star also reminds us that something is possible. You know, she's pouring water here right here if it wants to focus onto the world in this water that she's pouring onto the world right here is from the pool of universal consciousness and it literally represents what's possible for one person is possible for you so i feel like if someone has done anything kind of close to something that you want to do then you are going to be successful but i do like feel that you need this reading is encouraging you you know it basically says where there's a will there's a way chariot it says where there's a will there's a way <laughs> so if there's anything that you want anything that you wish you could have even if it seems impossible I feel the star is saying you need to make it a goal and take control with the um, chariot and also make the necessary changes with the magician because uh, the magician can represent change. Uh, with the chariot, you have the empress. You're coming into a time of abundance. For some of you, I feel like you've maybe been in a little bit of a downtime with your money. Really, the reason I say that is because you, you have the knight of pentacles here. It's like, it's like <laughs> I get him like looking at the hermit and... You know, the hermit has the star in his lantern. It's almost as if, I, I, the, you know, I'm not really getting this message, but I'm kind of getting a message where it's almost like saying, you're. it's almost like you've been looking for approval from, you know, an expert with the hermit card. You know, the hermit represents wisdom. And, you know, the interesting thing is, is maybe you can't even say like, oh, I'm looking for approval from this person. You know, it's like for some of you, it could be like a group of people. It could be like, um, you know, it's like, I don't know, like, um, even like on YouTube, like on my other channel, it's like, I, sometimes I stop myself from creating videos because I'm like, what will everybody that watches it thinks, right? And really, I feel like th that could be this right here, <laughs> where it's almost like you're looking for someone to release your star, but there's only one person that can do that. It's you, Pisces. So I feel like you have to release your star, expose something. With the Page of Wands, you have the Ace of Cups. You've been getting like new love uh, showing up here in your readings. Could be someone more mature than you, older than you, something like that. There could be some sort of age difference because uh, King of Swords, uh, Hermit, could be a uh, fire sign. You've been getting fire. Could be a Cancer. Uh, could be an Aquarius. Could be a Virgo. And that's all I get so far. So it could be any of those signs, but I feel like there is true love coming in for you here, Pisces. Um, it could be from a distance as well with that cherry. A lot of attraction here if you want love. With the star, you have the seven of swords. Yes, needing to see that something is possible. You know, the star can represent lying, cheating, stealing. And as I always say, you could have dealt with that Pisces in the past, but you know, what's the point of talking about it? <laughs> there are plenty of readers that will tell you that story. But as I always say, we have to stop living the same story. People always ask, why don't you say that the Seven of Swords is about lying, cheating, stealing? I'm always like, well, I could tell you about it like all day long, but it's like until you change your story personally, you're just gonna keep living the same story. So I believe we have to change our story and it starts with stopping and stop telling the same story that you've been telling yourself, right? So what I feel like this is more saying is it's saying, that you can accomplish your star, whatever your goal, wish, or dream is, but you're gonna have to be tactical. He's normally stealing these swords. You're not gonna be able to just go straight towards um, something that you're going to want to create. It's funny because at the be I think it was um, at the beginning of the year I was saying something. I don't remember which reading it was, but I was like saying um, it might have been to Leo if I remember correctly, uh, where I was in in the uh, 2023 yearly readings. You might want to watch it. Uh, go watch it, or I'll try to find it. Um, but I was saying something about how, you know, I kind of really feel that with Pluto going into Aquarius this year, if there was ever a time where like a guerrilla marketing campaign would work really, really well, it would probably be during Pluto and Aquarius. So it's like, if you have a business or if you're just trying to promote yourself on social media, if like, if there was ever a time where you could create some sort of crazy marketing stunt for like free, for like no money, that would actually work. It would be probably during Pluto and Aquarius. So for those of you that want to try it, try it. I would also say, like, again, your goals are your own, as that card says. And so I feel like your approach to things needs to be your own. Like, if, it, like, I think it's okay to mimic success, right? And, but at the same time, 
It's like years ago, I used to work in marketing and I actually uh, used to teach uh, some marketing stuff. And I would, I, I talked, to, I used to have this thing called swipe and improve where you would basically uh, take ideas from successful marketing campaigns, but make them your own, right? And, um, you know, I really get that for you here, Pisces, but not like marketing, you know, it could just be whatever you're working on. It could be your health. It could be your business. It could be whatever. It's like maybe in your health, maybe you're doing a diet, but it really isn't working. But maybe if like a, a slight change or, you know, doing things differently or mixing up your daily routine, it's like that's the improve part of what you are doing. And I really see that with the Seven of Swords. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have the Starfish card. It says, trust your instincts, follow your intuition. You are definitely being guided at this time. And again, this could be, I, I think I said in your... Um, in your next three month readings that I just did that it seems to me like there's this like unconventional energy that's been following you around Pisces and only you. <laughs> so, you know, it seems to me like it's a time for you to be unconventional, to do things differently, to be open to uh, different ways of being successful. You know, the story of the starfish is that it can basically move in any direction. You know, it has those five arms, so you can it can move up, down, left, right, back, forward, whatever. And I feel this is saying like the more flexible you are, the better with this energy. Uh, I do feel that number one, there could be unexpected assistance coming in for you with the King of Swords. I always say that I look at the King of Swords sometimes as a mentor, just someone who can enter into your life, who can help you very quickly. Also, if you have like a problem legally, uh, physically, whatever, like find a lawyer, find a doctor, King of Swords can represent a person who can solve your problem like very, very quickly. And I do feel that. But again, it's kind of popping into my head as a mentor. You know, this could be information that you discover. And I'm pretty sure I said this in your uh, next three months as well, that you could be like watching a YouTube video from um, one of your favorite people you know, from some someone you look up to or from an expert on whatever it is that you're interested in. And again, I feel like this information could be very valuable. I think I said it in the cancer reading last for the next three months as well. I have all these messages popping into my head. I don't remember who it was, but I was like saying, it's like a time of following gumdrops, you know? It's like Pluto and Aquarius, there could be these little tasty clues that um, maybe, again, I feel like gumdrops is a bad example because it's not like we're being led into some witch's home in the woods where we're gonna be fattened up and eaten, right? That's not what we're talking about here, but we are talking about like a, a happy trail. How's that? A happy trail. There you go, right? It's like you're being led to a happy place, whatever the hell that is for you. And I would like follow your intuition with this energy. You have the uh, Knight of Pentacles, time to get moving. I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, I don't know what I'm waiting for. So I totally get it, Pisces. But, you know, I think the quicker you get started, the quicker you're going to be successful. I know I keep saying it and, um, you know, I have my own struggles getting started on things as well, but <laughs> I don't know. I think we'll all probably get there. I think Pisces, it's like, you know, I always say that Pisces, it's like, I think that Pisces, we get started on things when we know it, it you know, when we know that we know that it's correct. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Um, but I feel like you're getting there. I also do feel there could be a new person. Like I said, could be an earth sign for sure that is coming in for you. Uh, could be a Virgo, could be any sign, could be a person who has Virgo or Taurus even in their chart, Taurus right here as well, or Capricorn with the world card. But you know, it could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo <laughs> with the world, who the hell knows. But uh, I do feel like there's a new person. I feel like they're a little bit shy or this could be you that's being a little bit shy and it could be due to healing here with the Seven of Swords and the Star, but you know, take it how it resonates. I feel like you'll probably take a leap of faith here. And you have the Sun. The Sun, of course, is a card of happiness. So I feel like this will make you very happy. I do feel, again, there could be unexpected communication this week. I don't really feel very much unexpected other than maybe there could be a person who's communicating with you that they're interested in you. Looks like a pleasant surprise, I would say, uh, obviously with that Sun card. Uh, for the most part, though, I feel like you're more focused on like building things, you know, building more abundance or changing your life in some way. It could be like your health or something like that. With the King of Swords, you have the Two Wands. Mm, you know, part of me feels like this is you. You know, Two Wands like taking the lead, leaving a comfort zone, and you know, again. Your goals are your own. I think that's very important. You're not going to accomplish anything like anyone else. You're meant to be different. You're meant to be unique. No one's going to have your story for sure. It's like mo most people that exist are not going to have the same story, right? But no one <laughs> is going to be like you, Pisces. I, I, I think that you need to get that through your thick skull. I need to get it through my thick skull. That's why I'm saying it. It's like there is no one who is going to you know accomplish things the way you do. We are, I, I truly believe that Pisces 
is meant to be unique at this time. There are a couple signs actually that I think are meant to be a little bit more unique because again, it is our duty right now with Pluto and Aquarius to be an example. Right here, you have the sun and the star. I always say the sun and the star can represent fame and fortune, but it can also just represent attention, positive attention, and it can represent, um, you know, again, needing to be an inspiration to other people. So it's like whatever you're doing, the changes you're making in your life, whatever they are, work, business, health, spiritually, whatever, um, these changes are meant to inspire probably like the world, Pisces, right here. <laughs> so get moving. With the, uh, yep, here you go. With the Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who's very serious. If there's love coming in for you, I feel like this person wants something long-term. Everything about this reading really says that this person like follows the rules. They want to put in the work. They're in it for the long-term. Definitely could be a Taurus. You, you literally have three Taurus cards in a row. Uh, and the I love the King of Pentacles in love because it's someone who's like very serious, someone who really wants to put in the work and make something work. I feel like you're gonna take the risk here, Pisces, if this is love. And it could be any sign. Again, they, you know, fire also stands out to me. You've been getting fire and fire has been standing out to me. So whatever, take it how it resonates. But I feel like what's important is that this person wants something long-term. What's interesting <laughs> to me here, Pisces, is that you might, like, again, if you meet a person that you're attracted to, I would just say, like, don't immediately think they're boring. I think maybe they come off as a little bit boring like at first, but I don't think they're boring. I think it's just shyness is really what I'm getting here with the King of Pentacles. So if you're meeting a person, it's like you might think, oh, this person's not gonna be very exciting, but I actually think they are. So, you know, again, I would just give this person a little bit of time. Again, I think you're gonna be attracted to them. So it's not like you're gonna be like, oh, I'm so bored, you know, but maybe you're just like, mm, are they gonna, you know, are they gonna be as exciting as I want them to be? But I feel like yes is the answer. With the uh, sun, you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, now is a time of experimentation. I literally have a whole new channel that's de going to be dedicated to experimentation. And what I mean by experimentation is trying new, one new thing every single day. And it's a lot easier than you think. Um, but when we do this, it breaks us out of our patterns. You know, Bruce Lipton says that we live like 95% of our lives on autopilot. We, our brain just like does whatever. And so we're basically just fast forwarding through life. You know, I watched the movie Click the other night. And if you've ever watched the movie Click, that's basically what our brains are doing. We just do things. And before you know it, the day is over. So by experimenting, we take control of our lives and we can actually make positive changes and you know all that other good stuff. Uh, next, uh, what are we doing here? Sorry, yeah, um, for what you need to hear right now, <laughs> you have this coffin card and this change card. Inside the coffin, you know, any coffin card in tarot or um, these oracle cards kind of says inside the coffin represents your old life, outside the coffin represents your new life. And clearly there is a change that needs to happen here, Pisces, for you to be very successful. So I feel that there is some sort of, you know, kind of like death or some sort of, um, ending. You know, what's really interesting as well that I'm noticing, it's popping into my head for some reason, is that like the Tibetan Buddhists, they consider the number nine to be the end. This right here, 19 is 10, which most people consider 10 to be the end. So you have like two cards, I don't know, it's popping into my head is like two cards of endings of, um, you know, bringing something to an end. And I really kind of feel that here. You have the Fool, the Hermit, and the World card, another card of an ending, the beginning, the end as well. You could, you could argue, Pisces, that the fool has climbed to the top of the mountain to become the hermit because it's part of the fool's journey. And this is the end of the fool's journey. And then we just start all over again as a fool. You are ending something. It's like, I, I really feel that you've almost like sucked everything you can <laughs> out of something with that hermit, you know? It's like you've gotten all the juice from a situation is what I'm feeling here with the Hermit card. This could be like a business idea. Uh, it could be like a part of your career or something that you've learned. It's like he's, you know, I kind of feel that for you where it's like you've gotten everything you can out of something and now it's time to start like the next stage. It's time to move on to something bigger and better. So I really feel a lot of you are again moving on to, you know, the change that you're making is something bigger and better. And I'm not talking about love here either. You know, part of it could be love, but you know, I, I feel this is more bigger picture, mostly because we have the world, which is, you know, a big accomplishment. I also feel like you need to look at your, you know, whatever your past situation was in work or career. It's almost like 
it was just like a training ground. I feel like I've said this to you before, where it's like whatever you've been doing up until now for to make money, uh, even if you're retired, it's like you, whatever you've been working on, right, in your life. Um, and if you haven't been working on something, I would start working on something. <laughs> uh, like it could just be for fun, a project, right? It's like it's been teaching you what to, what you're about to do. And it's maybe it's gonna be very different, right? And I really get that feeling here with The Fool that some of you could be doing something that's like very, very different than what you have been doing, but it's, and I shouldn't say very different, you know, because I, I just think maybe it's like a different industry if it's work or, you know, it's in a different location. And now you've been being trained for a long time. With the fool, you have the justice card, much more fairness. Again, I really get, again, if you're getting a, a new love situation, I do feel like you could be kind of, it's almost like a karmic payoff or something is what I'm getting here with the justice card. Much more fairness as well. You know, this is like equal give and take. I mean, we could say that you were with a liar, cheater, stealer, and now you're going towards a new beginning with someone who is like fair, just, balanced, um, you know, all those things. And even the um, magician would represent like a new beginning. But see, I feel like you have changed, Pisces, with the magician. It's like, you know, I always tell people, it's like the best thing you can do if you've gone through a breakup over the you know last few months or whatever, is to change who you are. It's like you can't be, if you want to attract something different and better, you can't be the same person. So I, and I, but I feel like you have, Pisces. I feel like you've undergone a transformation with that magician. It's like you've reinvented yourself or maybe you're currently working on reinventing yourself, which is exactly what you should do. As a matter of fact, speaking of your duty, I think after a breakup, it is your duty to reinvent yourself because again, you have to attract something better. Most people just keep attracting the same old bozo over and over and over again. And, you know, again, you want to change your story. With the hermit, you have the high priestess, you. Uh, could be a Virgo coming in for you here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they have earth in their chart. <laughs> here, let's put it that way. You have so much earth here. It just would not surprise me. Um, but I feel like you intuitively feel this person. Some of you might be feeling this person right now. It's like you might not know who this person is even. You know, it's like, it's kind of popping into my head that some of you, it's like right now, it's a spiritual connection, but you don't even, maybe you don't even know who this person is, but it's almost like you can sense that something is about to enter into your life. And that's what I get here, Pisces. With the world, you have the king of cups. Yes, I mean, are you kidding? It's interesting. I feel like you're both kings. Doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to. <laughs> I feel like, I kind of feel like the king of cups is your energy. I feel like you have you know, been in this boss up, glow up type situation here with the star, probably reinventing yourself, which also it has kind of caused this glow up situation. And I feel like that is exactly the thing that is going to be bringing like all the success into your life. Uh, finally, for the good stuff, doesn't matter what shows up here, it's gonna be good no matter what. You have this come to the edge card. You also have this moon card cycle. It literally says cycles and change on it. <laughs> I didn't even see that. So clearly a major change reading. Uh, the come to the edge card always reminds me of like needing to, you know, normally we start working towards something and then we kind of reach our, what we think is our limits and then we back off. I feel like the come to the edge card kind of says, if you want change at this time, then you need to kind of like step outside your comfort zone. You need to push past those boundaries. Like you need to push past the point where you would normally give up. And I feel like if you do that, clearly there is like abundance coming in for you with the eight of pentacles. You have the magician in the four of cups as well. The magician, he has a snake right here, and that snake represents or an Ouroboros, represents a change or a change in your life. So I feel a lot of you are going through some sort of reinvention here. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a card of mastering a craft. It's also a card of material success on the horizon. Again, I feel like you haven't, for whatever reason, Pisces, I feel like you haven't been seeing results you know, in work like you, that you think you deserve. <laughs> Those are the words that are popping into my head. And But I feel like you've been, it's sometimes I think we are, it's like we're building up a debt with the universe. Like the, I feel like the universe owes you for all the work that you've done. And it's like, you're about to get some sort of jackpot or something because of all the work you've done. But it's not really a jackpot. Cause again, you've worked, it's like you've put in the work for this, but I still feel you're getting something. 
You have the four cups here. Uh, normally I don't like the four cups, but it is coming up in the area of the good stuff. So I do feel that for a lot of you, it's kind of like you're finding fulfillment. This could have to do with a person. And again, it doesn't really surprise me, as I've said before, that you have love showing up at basically at the end of this month, because you know it's like the end of this month till you know May, June is a really good time. If you're looking for love, I would get out there, meet new people. You're not gonna find this person sitting on your couch, as I always say. With the magician, you have the Wheel of Fortune, damn, Pisces. This is a very lucky, very good reading. <laughs> so I feel like there's a lot of success, a lot of goodness here. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Sun. Are you kidding? So the Sun twice, which is amazing. Definitely a lot of happiness, joy, abundance, um, you know, good things coming in for you here. So I just see a lot of just, you know, good stuff this week. And with the Four of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands, very passionate new beginning. I would follow your desires as well. Because remember, again, I feel that your problem, if I was being super picky as always, that your problem in this reading is going to be working on something that, um, you know, working on something and knowing that it's gonna work. You're not gonna know that it's gonna work here, Pisces, is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> because there's nothing to compare it uh, compare yourself to. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes now. You have this rat card. It says someone working against you be, uh, behind your back. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I feel like some of you could have like a liar, cheater, stealer who's doing things behind your back or whatever. I kind of get the feeling of someone who did a lot behind your back who, you know, probably talked a lot of shit behind your back and maybe you found out. And so some of you could be dealing with that. And so I would just, you know, have prop, set up proper boundaries and things like that. I don't think there's anything, you know, again, we have, um, Mars and Gemini, well, Mars is leaving Gemini now at the end of the month. And so I always say that, you know, even even when it gets out of Gemini, I would give it some time <laughs> is what I would say. If people are gossiping about you or if you have found information out about someone talking behind your back and spreading a bunch of BS and all this other stuff, just a real liar is what I get with that Seven of Swords. Like I would just don't do anything because again, Mars and Gemini, it's like if we try to do something, it always comes back to bite us. Uh, you have this chain card. It says chain of events that will affect your life. Um, I really feel this is more kind of that energy of connecting the dots. So I feel like for some of you, um, you're starting to see things working out. You're starting to see things go your way. And you have this sunrise card. It says new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. I mean, that was the whole entire reading. <laughs> it was basically a fresh start, but I feel like there's like an abundant fresh start going on here. You have this vine card. It says, seek out information that will help you. Yeah, I mean, king of swords, hermit. These are all cards of learning as much as you can so that you can be successful on whatever you're working on. You also have this August card. And then I always clarify these monthly cards and you have this feather. It says, someone you know is undependable and insincere. I kind of feel like this was last August. So again, if you dealt with a person in August of last year, 2022, I, again, this could be that rat that's showing up here. I feel like they really, you know, it's like, I feel for some of you, there's like a person who really talked a lot behind your back and you didn't even see it. Someone who's just like a liar. I feel like this person's a pathological liar. It's kind of weird as well because I feel like this person's mad at you <laughs> when when they are the one that created like all this BS. It, uh, you know, it's almost like they, um, are, it's almost like they think you're being selfish now or something is like what I'm getting from this reading. I don't know. I would just ignore it with Mars and Gemini. Like I said, I wouldn't even pay attention to it in general because again, if you feed the rat, then it's just gonna get bigger. But I feel like if you starve the rat of attention, then it's gonna get smaller. So, you know, I feel like you've learned that. And again, you, it, sticking up for yourself could be the thing that is leading to a much better love in your life, something much, much better. So again, I wouldn't even feed into that BS, wouldn't even pay attention to it. Like I said at the beginning of reading, I would just change your story here. But this looks really good here, Pisces, love it. Uh, so thank you for being here, really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.